I look at my phone and I'm like, I'm seeing um, the videos of various acts of kindness that they have done. They are sharing it with me. They're excited about it. They're sharing all sorts of messages. In fact, I've had to be saying, this is so much. Old. My phone is filling up. So, I mean, Okay, I'm Cynthia Odunai, I'm the head of Human Resources at Green Spring School. It has its challenges and um, the other side of it, especially with um, when you look at the, the recent uh, COVID and I mean a lot of new initiatives has, has uh, come up and as head of HR, I've had to unlearn and relearn and also I've had to try to look at things. I mean, the way I used to look at things before is quite different now because when you're thinking of well, you need to ensure that staff are motivated, that I mean, they are happy, they are this, they are that. What suits A, you realize that what suits A might not suit staff B. So you don't need to put everything together in one box and assume that, oh, by the time we do this, all staff will be happy. So when you talk about business, at the end of the day, you need to understand that it's all about people, products, and profits. I know without the people and without the products, I mean, you can't, there's no way you can make a profit. So the people are the core center of any organization. So we need to think more outside of the box on how to ensure that these people are motivated because it's when they are motivated that you expect high productivity from them. So the COVID challenges has, I mean, may have made things to really, to really change out there. People find out that they can work from home. They can do a lot of things without leaving the comfort of their homes. At the end of the day, it's all about being productive and how you manage the staff to make sure that they are happy doing what they are doing. Fourteen days of kindness, and I'm sure some people will wonder why fourteen days. Valentine's Day is on the fourteenth of February, right? And usually we celebrate staff on that day. Every member of staff, uh, we we bring in cake, Valentine cake, and the usual chocolate. There's a, a little bit of music in the morning across all the four campuses but i had a meeting with members of my team and i said i mean let's look at let's do something different let's think outside of the box let's do something different from of course we'll still do the usual cakes and and chocolates and the music in the morning but let's also think of something different and we started rubbing minds and a member of the team actually came up with that 14 days act of kindness challenge and we all embraced it we all embraced it and we said, okay, let's look at the questions. And I mean, the questions came up, we all started retweaking. And at the end of the day, we came up with those 14 questions. And what is it all about when you say kindness? I mean, with the rat race, I mean, the rat race out there, everybody's just looking out for themselves. People are tired, people are, I mean, you even forget to remember even a very close family, family, I mean, family of yours, not to talk of colleagues. So we said, okay, what can we do to even bring people, to remind people about the word kindness? What does it mean? How do you show it? Valentine is all about love. And love is an action word. I mean, love is an action word. You have to do something to show that you love somebody. You can, you can actually give something to somebody that you don't love. But you cannot love without giving so we are extending valentine's day outside of my husband and myself my boyfriend and myself we are extending it i mean to be wider this time around and capturing kindness as our thing you know, like i said earlier i understand that valentine's day is i mean from the general, everybody, Valentine, you know, it's about my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my husband, my... But this is a community. And we know that, I mean, it's a period of love. Let's spread it. It doesn't have to be between 
your husband and yourself or your partners let's spread it and we said okay how can we spread it how can we make noise about it and we decided to go with kindness 14 days out of kind and 14 days out of kindness starting from february for at uh, first through february 14th which is the actual valentine's day our grand finale <laughs> the first uh, act of kindness you know one of our core values is service you know when you look at our core values service is also one of our core values so the first day the act of kindness was to uh, render an act of service to a colleague and interestingly you know the way staff i mean they embrace this act of kindness is overwhelming and then um, when you say render an act of uh, service to someone i mean it's it's beyond your own duty it's going beyond your own duty and going out there to also support and help somebody so the first one you said render an act of service um i recall one of the teachers mrs ishijola Mrs. Ishijola, one of the teachers, and Mr. Ojong, the French teacher. Mrs. Ishijola was actually, I mean, she had a free period. So she was actually going to use her free period to do her own thing. But Mr. Ojong met her on the staircase and asked her to please help us stay in, in his classroom for just a bit because he really wanted to go and do something else. I mean, he wanted to go and do, do, do something related to um, French examination or something like that. Miss, is, is she that could have said, see, I need to do something with my own time too. I don't have time. But she accepted. She accepted because she understands the, what it means, that act of service. She accepted to do that for a colleague. We also said, uh, give somebody a positive feedback. I mean, it's easy for us to always didn't do this way, didn't do this way, and we forget that at times those people they do something well. Because we are also, I mean, as especially as leaders, we are also under pressure to ensure that things are done right. So we put a lot of pressure on our team members and we forget to say, well done, thank you. So we are reminded, like I said, this act of kindness is just a reminder to tell people that stop, pause think well, the rat race is really catching up on everybody just take it easy and remember to show kindness so rather than always saying the negative the negative you didn't do this well i gave you the you're supposed to submit this by two o'clock this is 2 30. think of one good thing that that person is doing well and appreciate that person we also had one that says that um, um give a surprise a colleague with a, 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 a breakfast, light breakfast. It doesn't have to cost too much. You don't have to break a, 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 a bank to do that. I mean, I, and some people got, I mean, they were surprised. Ah, this person gave me, even an environmental staff, the janitorial staff at Lekki, she was surprised. Somebody got her malt and sausage and she was very happy. So just want to remind them, to be kind, to remember, to be sensitive to people, to be thoughtful, and to spread love through kindness. Like I said, Green Springs is a community. So spread it from here, start from here. In love, serve one another. That's the school motto. So we are actually, we want to leave the school motto. I know we are living, not that we are not living it, but I mean, there's so much pressure. And at times we just forget. We just forget and we are all like, it's, it's, it's all about me. It's all about me protecting my job and protecting this. And, it, and we forget that we have people that we can spread good tidings to. So it's to achieve that communal love. And so we said to, like I said, it's overwhelming. I look at my food and I'm like, I'm seeing. Um, in the videos of various acts of kindness that they have done they are sharing it with me they're excited about it they are sharing all sorts of messages in fact i've had to be saying this is so much <laughs> my phone is filling up so i mean they're excited at times by the time i wake up in the morning i'm looking at some people's status and i've seen some people they've already shared today's act of service even before 
I do because my team would have sent it out via email and by the time I said, well, let me share it on my status. I've seen some people that, ah, I said, this is nice. And I also encourage them. A lot of them, I just uh, do thumbs up. So they are spreading it and they are leaving it. Even though at the end of the day, we still want them to leave it beyond the 14 days. We do a lot of staff engagements. You know, I'll just call it a lot, a lot, a lot, lots and lots of staff engagements. So I'll give some, um, some examples. I mean, there was a time, you know, the workforce generation is changing. Before it used to be the um, baby boomers and Generation X. But now we are having our children and grandchildren working with us. So when I say grandchildren, when you're talking about baby boomers, they have, I mean, Generation X children working with us. So it's, it's and, and the culture, I mean, our upbringing is not the same, it's different. So, there used to be that kind of friction between Gen X, baby boomers, millennials. Now we have Gen Z coming up. Um, to ensure that uh, warmth and um, uh, to also to ensure to foster cordial relationship, we had to ask the Gen uh, millennials how we can help them, how we can help them to ensure that they are they are happy. You know, because if you are not happy at work, then there's, there's a problem. You can't be productive, right? You can't be productive. So how, to ensure that they are fulfilled even while, while working with older generations. And this made us to, to come up with um, a panel setting and interview in an informal, an informal setting where they shared some of their concerns, some of their fears, some of the, their aspirations to us. And we looked at it and we we looked at the top three, the top three issues that was causing them. I was really making them not to be very, very fulfilled at work. And we needed them to be fulfilled at work. And we looked at it and we acted upon it and they became happy. That's just one, really. We also, uh, we have the staff activities, where weekly activities, where staff come together, um, we do, we, we exercise, we have dance aer aerobics, and uh, from every department, we see all of us out there jumping, dancing. At times, we might just be dance alone, and we also give gifts. After the, after the exercise, after the dance aerobics or the, maybe the physical exercise or whatever we decide to do, we give out food to everyone that, okay, as you're going on, just take this food. You've, you've exercised, just have some food. We do that as well. We also ensure that we recognize uh, every member of staff on their birthdays. We send out birthday messages to every single member of the Green Springs community. Every single member, we, we send out a birthday shout out to them, emails, and the rest of the team, they also congratulate them. However, at the end of the month, we decide to bring all the birthday celebrants together and the cut cake, and we dance, I mean, we do a little partying again. It doesn't matter whether you are a teacher or you are a security staff or you are a kitchen staff, it doesn't matter. It's a community, so we celebrate everybody and they all look forward to this. Um, we also have a wellness program, wellness check, where we invite some of our HMOs, health maintenance organization, I mean, our health service providers, to come in and do a wellness check on staff. They also give wellness talk, depending on, most times we choose topics that, um, health topics that are prevailing. At times when we have issues of um, hypertension all over, cancer and all that, we look at the ones that are really prevailing. Um, we invite the, the team, the, medic, the medical team, to come and give talks to all our staff and the uh, they clarify issues to them and at times when they do these checks at times they also do checks they find that oh even you your blood pressure we need to check it again they don't diagnose it at once they can't say because I'm, my bp is high today i'm hypertensive no it might be that i'm just stressed today we also recognize every member of staff that have spent especially recognize them that have spent five years and above in the organization milestones let me call it milestones five years ten years fifteen twenty years we recognize them 
we appreciate them. They get letters from us, they get the badge, five years badge, they get certificates and they get gifts. And they look forward to that gift. It also is a form of a uh, long-term incentive as one of our long-term incentives to encourage staff and to motivate them to, to stay on. We also um, try to recognize especially our support staff. We don't want them to feel left out. So what do we do with them? For them, we have this quarterly uh, start, of the, start of the quarter. At the end of every quarter, I mean, somebody comes, emerges the start of the quarter. So when I say support staff, I'm talking about drivers, I'm talking about janitorial staff, I'm talking about kitchen staff, um, security personnel. So at the end of the quarter, we call them out in front of other members of staff. We reward them openly. We recognize and reward them. That recognition, I mean, they love it. And we also reward them. So they are not just recognized, they also get cash reward. This motivates them, it makes them happy, it makes them know, know that, oh, they are seen and they are appreciated. And also encourages others, because others don't want to be, to be star of the quarter. So all this, and quite a number, a lot more, uh, shows that uh, the environment is warm, and uh, we foster a good relationship to, to increase productivity at the end of the day. Let's use the act of kindness, the current one. Okay, I'm, I'm seated in my office. I don't know if you got any any snacks. I'm just saying because I mean there was there was a video somebody shared. She was seated in her office and the next thing somebody knocked and bought snacks. And she was like, oh, so you even recognize me? You know me? Because at times it's like nobody is even seeing you. So the person that gave us snacks, she was surprised at that person. That this person knows that I'm a queen's it, it fosters love and the bond is also necessary. Team bonding is very important. So it fosters love, good relationship, um, and it also reminds, reminds us that this is a community. And we know that a community is a place where you look out for one another not just yourself, look out for one another. Everybody looks out for another, the other person. First of all, I would say that we have an open door policy. So when I say open door policy, even to, up to parents, parents can walk in and um, talk about, express their concerns, express, express their concerns as well as the positive as well. Um, staff can also walk up to HR, express their grievances. If you have issues, you, we expect you to talk about it. And if um, the issues need to be investigated further, we also give opportunity for fair hearing. We don't just um, take a decision based on you have done this, you have done that, this is what it is. But we also give you opportunity for fair hearing so that we can hear you, see it from your perspective. You see it from our perspective too. So that opened up policy, both for staff and um, um, parents, and even students is working for us because it, it gives us the opportunity to hear what people are saying and what we can learn from it and what we can do about it to be better. Since we started, we opened with kindness. I also like to close with um, by saying a few words still about kindness. I know that uh, with the Valentine's Act of Kindness initiative, we said 14 days out of Act of Kindness. I want to also remind people that it should be beyond those 14 days, since it's just a reminder. 14 days Act of Kindness, like I said, came up because Valentine's on the 14th. So after the 14th, are we going to, to stop being kind? No, that shouldn't be it. Let's imbibe that culture of remembering to be kind, to be thoughtful, and to be very sensitive of people around us. So with this, I'd like to wish us all a very, very, very happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. <music>